want is this? I purchased it. I'm a good civilian. I'm a good noodle. Why you gotta torture me? So I'm needing to turn this galaxy colored. And since it's kind of a really crappy woodland fairy type of look, that's not what I'm going for. So time to spray paint. I'm going to start with a base coat of black. So I'm thinking the most difficult part of this entire process is not the fact that I don't know how to make galaxy out of spray paint. It's going to be trying to get the freaking tape off of the spray paint itself. They really don't want you in this. I mean, I understand they don't want you testing it in the store like a hooligan, but still. I want in this! I purchased it! I'm a good civilian! I'm a good noodle! Why you gotta torture me? Ugh. <laughs> Finally. The struggle is real, but I finally got it. Alright, now, time to get spraying. Wish me luck. I hope I can do this one-handed, otherwise, gonna have to put you guys down. It's important to note, this little dot should not be facing your face. Should be facing down onto the thing. Yep. I almost did it, dum. Dum da dum dum dum. Oh yes. Get on me. I gotta get high all the time to keep this costume on my mind. <laughs> I'm so high off the fumes. Whew. And also, I thought this little amount would be enough. Fail. So, that doesn't seem to be enough. I really don't want to have to go to the store, but I'm gonna have to. That's okay, because I have time to let it dry. Do you have to, do you have to, do you have to let it dry? Huh? Yes, I do. You stay there. I'll be back. This will get the job done. Prepare to be vanquished. I just flipped it over and gonna give this side a spray now. With the mega can. So the puny can that apparently can't do much. That one's more fumey. I'm okay. Just really feeling the fumes, but that's starting to look a lot better. I'm going to let this dry and then do another coat of black and then I can move on to actual colors. But I think it's actually looking rather nice now. Or it could be that the fumes have gotten to me and are warping my perception and this actually looks like shit. We shall see when I am less high. Just flipped it around after it's been drying for like an hour or more and... Oy vey. That's uh, still bad. Now time for purple. Starting to look good. Just wanted it to have a nice light dusting, trying to make it galaxy. Went at it with a little bit of white. Starting to get that nice galaxy feel that I was hoping for. Now time for the other side, because I don't want this side just being plain solid black. I want both sides so that way if the wings flip around, anything like that. We still have a nice galaxy pattern no matter what. And now we've got that side done. Right now I am just taking a little bit of blue acrylic paint and just going very lightly in places. Just add a little bit of touch of a different color to make the white and make the purple stand out a little more. Give it more of that galaxy effect that I was going for. So just with a very tough textured brush that way it doesn't get like spotty or anything like that. Like this part got a little spotty, but oh well, we can call that planet or whatnot. Thankfully with space, there's a lot of anything. <laughs> but just going over that and then I'll do the star effect where I'll just splatter some uh, silver metallic-y paint all over it. But so far I'm really liking how it's coming out. Now for the messy part. Got my metallic -y paint. This is just plain acrylic paint and metallic silver. And I've got the brush kind of saturated, and I'm just going to flick it over. And it should give a nice spattered effect. Just droplets, that's all you're wanting. Because stars should just look like little tiny dots. And big, small, anything just gives distance, depth to it. So I'm gonna be at this for quite a while, but so far it seems to be getting me kind of a speckly effect. 
if you look right here, that's just from flicking. You want to do it kind of up high, that way you don't get like over splooshes. Don't want that. Alright, so now it has the accurate speckle that I want of stars. And now I just gotta wait for this acrylic to dry and then I can flip it over. And it is done. I'm really happy with the outcome. I think they're really nice. Yay! I have never done anything like this and I've never even seen a tutorial. So I went off a whim and hoped that I could do this and thanks to Kay she said that spray paint would be a good idea and spray paint was a good idea. It just takes quite a lot of coats to cover up a pre-existing color but other than that it was really good. I'm happy with them. So now we're trying to get the wings to be less flippy floppy. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this fabric bit that attaches them and I'm actually going to cut out some of this wire mesh that I have that's for mask making. Um, and I'm going to basically cut out the same shape in it but that way it has a nice stiff piece. This is the part of the wings that would touch your back. This is like the inside part. So I'm gonna put a piece of wire mesh inside of here, cover that in a piece of fabric to keep these wires from poking anybody. And Basically now I'm just taking in the long piece that had already been there, make it a little less noticeable, make it a little more square, bring the wings in a little more. Basically, I just pinched the fabric together. I'm gonna stitch it along here, and then I'm gonna cut this extra off. Now I've kind of got the painstaking process of stitching wire mesh. Um, the mesh is folded over a few times just to give it a little bit more stability and make it the right size. With this kind of mesh, it gets stiffer if you fold it. So I'm literally just sewing it straight through the old box little our square of felt and onto the new square of things that should make them nice and stiff because even as you can see attached to this thing it's it's not wibbly wobbling all over the place it's not getting very far they are attached now to a piece of metal completely attached mesh. now yep so basically when upright and on someone's back I just am holding this with just two fingers which is what basically straps will be holding it by they'll stay like this alright so my next step I'm doing with this is I've got some clear bra straps and I'm going to attach them to the top part and completely stitch them onto it and that way they'll be adjustable they can come up over the shoulder and then clip in down here like one would with a normal bra strap. Uh, bra straps are attached. So that's good. I just need to put some fabric over this to keep it from snagging clothing and some sort of little loops here that these can hook into. So for something to attach the bra strap to, I used a little bit of ribbon. And literally just cut maybe like two inches of it fold it in half and then I tuck it up inside of this fabric square underneath the fabric there and then I'm just gonna take my line of stitch and go right across it and it'll be attached just like this one is theory proven Fact, this works, yay! There are now two adjustable clear straps to hold the wings on. Here are the fabulous galaxy wings. Oh, so pretty. Look how you fit these. <sighs> Those work impressively well. <laughs> Dude. To the Medfair!